Oh, alrighty, guys. It is Monday, the 17th of June. We technically walk in the park by Go Gossy Boyd or Gossy Boyd. I'm not sure. I'm just going to say both. Um, there is grass. There's also not grass. Where's my mouse? There it is. Okay. Oh, there. Um. Where am I jumping? Oh, I'm jumping diagonally. Okay. This isn't particularly a walk in the park, considering the park seems to be in a rundown state. What the heck? Who 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 explained that in the who explained to the park owners that there's a giant red glowing skull in the in the park, underneath the park even. And that they should maybe be concerned about that giant red skull underneath their grounds. Hmm, bad gear. Oh! Oh no. Where am I going? Going this way. Ah, I see. This is a race to get to the um, owner's office to explain to them that they have a serious problem underneath their park. Didn't have the speed for the speed check. Yeah, I did improve by eight seconds though, so that's pretty good. Wow. What? Oh, good. I hit the solid grass. Hmm. I think I definitely want to go through that to some degree. How much I have to figure out still. And don't hit the pole. It's a bad idea. want to lose the gear, but I don't know if I had a choice. Okay. I was hovering on the respawn button because that was not looking good, but it ended up being kind of okay. Oh god.
Okay, I went through the grass a little bit there, but I at least got another whole second of improvement. I really don't know. Dang it. Still lost the gear. Well, and did that, but that's not a big deal. Really hard to not lose that gear. At least I can manage it for now, but I feel like I shouldn't need to. It's better. I definitely took less grass there. That's how it is with these thin tracks. It's just a it's just a game of you're gonna hit you're gonna hit the penalty grass. It's just how little can you do it? I kept the gear. The world is lovely. Glovely, I say. a really weird drift. That's why it took me a while to figure out how to get that gear. Dang it. A 300 speed speed check. Really hard to hit. Oh my god. There's no hole in the... There, there's no space for me there. Ah, uh, never mind. I was like, I wonder if there's like a wider route that gives me a better line. Nope. I can't be adverse to finding a way that's just through grass. lost it in the end there. I got the gear. That was weird, but it's fine. And again, my end was bad. It's fine, I still... I lost, like, point two. Not great, but still not terrible. <sighs> mm, don't want the double bounce there. God. Oh, 
Okay. Oh no. No, I keep hitting that tree. I keep I I I don't know what's ab what about it is. I don't know what is about it. I can't speak. I don't know what it is about it. I keep hitting that tree. I need more crashes. Hmm. Not gonna work, unfortunately. I kept the gear, but I'm super behind. Made the speed check, so I just had more speed. I'm sure this is entertaining to watch. Oh, okay. I couldn't tell if my brake had started or if my drift had started. Because, you know, there was a menu up in my face. And so I had to just... It didn't seem like it did. Interesting. <clears throat> Currently really hot right now. It's like a heat wave going on, going on in PA right now. Um, and my phone just gave me a severe alert. <clears throat> now I was under the impression that it was going to be a severe weather, uh, a severe heat alert, like heat advisory. Um, it's not, it's thunderstorm warning. <laughs> I don't keep up with the weather too much. So, I mean, it's probably not a surprise that it's gonna thunderstorm. I just was not ready. It's like, it's just really hot and it doesn't look like it's gonna rain. I mean, I don't know, this severe weather thing could be late at night and it's just giving it to me now, but still, I was not expecting a severe thunderstorm morning with what the weather currently is. It's gosh dang hot. Oh uh, no, what am I doing? Oh yeah, I need to <clears throat> I need to be careful I don't get that. Don't do that either. 
Come on, when is this? Until 6 p.m. There's supposed to be rain? If I can even... Oh, it's almost 6 p.m. <clears throat> I have to look outside. I was thinking about mowing my grass, but... If it's gonna rain in 30 minutes... I mean, I guess it kind of looks wet. It's not like... It's not even like... A little rain either. They're talking about hail. Oh, I'm a little wide there. Hold on. I'm, I'm looking. It's currently 90 degrees out. 90. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, there's quite a bit of rain coming. Some aggressive rain, too. It goes past red into like a pink color. That's pretty rain. I don't think I'm gonna make it. At least to mow my grass today. Maybe if I started... Maybe if I mowed my grass before doing this video... I'd have had time. I've literally just had enough time, but I didn't want to do that. I was like, man, it is hot. I'm going to possibly wait a little bit longer so that it maybe possibly gets cold. Or cold dirt. Uh, and my, and what I, how am I rewarded for my waiting? Um, it's going to storm like crazy. Well, it's a good thing. It's a good thing it's ungodly hot because the hail that's apparently supposed to be here will melt before it turns in before it hits the ground because it's so hot. Surely that's how that works, right? Oh, that was bad. Dang it. <laughs> Guess I'm not mowing my grass today. Either because if it rains hard, it's gonna be annoying to mow grass. So I guess I do it tomorrow, which I think is not supposed to be any colder. I know there's like a heat wave going through, which I which makes me be like, oh, I want to. If a heat wave's happening, I, I, and it's supposed to be later in the week, I might as well go now when it's not gonna be as hot. Because you would assume that if it gets hot, it, it, it if the worst of the heat wave is you know later in the week that it's gonna just get pro progressively warmer over several days. Uh, so I thought I was gonna be productive and just tough through it this week, or at least today. But no. That ain't how this works. God dang rain. God dang rain! Get back up in the sky where you belong. Every time I respawn, I look behind me. Because there's a window behind me that I can see the sky in. Every time I just look at it, and it does. I mean, it certainly looks like it's gonna rain. It definitely didn't look like it was gonna rain when I left work, which was not long ago. Let's be let's be honest about that. It wasn't long ago that I left work.
There's the author medal. Hooray. Oh, dang it. Clipped. Dang it, dude. No. You know, the, the, the blaring sun that once was above me, not 30 minutes ago, is fading to the doom and gloom that is a thunderstorm brewing within the sky. The thunder gods are angry. Sorry. Just went into my, like, fantasy D&D &D DM mood. Thor st st uh, stubbed his toe and is mad because it hurts and now he's going to rain down upon all. Because his toe hurts. I don't, I don't know. I don't make up the news. I just say it. I don't make up the news, I just say what someone else made up. Don't blame me, blame the other guy. Add more speed. Took too wide of a line. Hmm. That did not work. Oh, okay, good. Oh, yeah. I looked the other direction behind me this time, and... Yeah. The storms are coming. I'm an old guy sitting on my rocking chair. There's your storm brewing. Nature's mad. She ain't gonna let you escape. If I play Dungeons and Dragons, I can just kind of like 
create stupid scenarios like this in my head. Actually, anyone can do that. What actually is the... the like, I play Dungeons and Dragons. The thing that is exclusive to me is anyone can make up those scenarios in their head. When I make those scenarios up in my head, I also think about all the cool adventure that, that like a party of four could do on that. That's that's what's different. When I'm that old guy saying the storms are brewing, I'm 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 talking to four a party of four adventurers, one of which is me. Like eagerly ready to take down the the, the 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 greater lightning elemental or something at the at the top of the cloud sea that's causing havoc amongst the land and storms to be much more dangerous than they normally would be and only you because you have the power to stand on clouds or something can can conquer this greater storm elemental with your swords, I don't know how that works, but don't worry about it. They're magical. They can do damage to beings that are made of storm. God, that was bad. You know, it's dark enough that I need to turn on a light in here. Please hold while I turn on a light. And I say, I say a light. Because I do mean a light. The, the outlet situation in my office is, um, uh, not great. And the best place to put a lamp that wouldn't be in any way of anything is in a corner and there's only like one there because why would I need that? Like I need a brighter light in that corner because then it would illuminate the room better. Actually in truth it does a good enough job because like I would consider it to be reason like pretty dark in here. But then like at night it's it's still dark it's just not it's I, it's not really bright. Like I can't do, I couldn't need, I couldn't do anything that requires like a lot of light, like find things, because I'm looking at a monitor that's illuminated. I only need enough light to walk around, and that's good enough. Oh my god! Oh, and now I can't see how long I'm recording for. Let's go. Uh, that didn't help. I, until I... Oh. Oh! Alright, well... It's looking like it's gonna be it for today. Let's watch the GPS while we sit here. Um... Oh, I just noticed. 38.69. Nice. Um... I will see you all tomorrow. Or we'll tackle whatever track happens to be the track of the day for the day. Um... Until then, I hope you enjoyed the video. Enjoy the rest of your day. And I will see you all... Later.